Now, Sean, this is something that I use in competition myself, and I know everyone says it's so big and scary, but that's simply, these are cosmetic features that have no bearing on the firearms functions at all. And uh, I just want to go over a few of those really quick. This one is, uh, this is the pistol grip that everybody's talking about, and uh, that's simply just for stability. It helps me maneuver through a stage of competition. It has no bearing on how this, how this firearm functions. These rails, these are just for attachments, uh, maybe a flashlight, another scope, something to ease through competition. Uh, this scope right here is in competition. I shoot targets out to five and 600 yards, so I gotta be able to see it. Um, this is not a collapsible stock. That, that is one of, the, uh, one of the features that they discuss, and that's just to make it uh, a, a better size to fit you. Um, for, for instance, my five-year-old nephew uh, harvested his first deer about a month ago with my competition rifle, and he was able to make this fit him. And I think one of the reasons this is so popular, it's such an easy rifle to shoot. It's lightweight, it's maneuverable, and it has no recoil whatsoever. So I'm going to shoot it real quick so that you can see the impact in the target uh, that it will make. Hey. In, in talking to uh, my friend before, the last guy in the World Trade Center to be found, we... He was, he, he was buried in the World Trade Center for, what, 15 hours? No, I was buried for 13 hours. Sorry my last, but... You know, going to all this point, and uh, I'm a retired Port Authority police officer of New York and New Jersey, buried for 13 hours at the World Trade Center. I want everybody to understand, I came from a different country. I came from Columbia Nose too. I love this country. I served the military here. I came out, I became a cop. What I want everybody to know and, you know, everything, and I want President Obama to know this. I feel like our country is being divided. We need to come together as one. I get to talk to kids. The lady, the mother of that evil kid that shot those kids should have had enough common sense to think, hey, you know what, I'm responsible. I should be a responsible gun owner. I should take these guns, lock them up, get them out of the house. I won't even have a kitchen enough for them. What I want people to remember is this. Our flag is made out of the blood of patriots. Do not give up your rights because when you give up your rights, you're going to have to fight and give blood to get those rights back. That Second Amendment has given us every other amendment. And as a sportsman, as a, as a cop, guns are not the problem. We need to become a better country, be, become better parents, and be responsible. If we're responsible Americans, human beings, with our kids, this country will be great again. All right, I want to apologize because we didn't get to hear from everybody here tonight, but I promise.